Hi, I'm Chris and in today's video we'll be looking at how to convert from percentages to fractions. Now the term percentage simply refers to a ratio out of 100. What that simply means, a percentage is just a fraction that has a denominator of 100. Let's look at an example. Now, let's say we had 50%. Now 50% can be written as a fraction by just simply putting this 50 right here over 100, all right? So 50 out of 100 is the same thing as 50%. We're just representing this 50% here as a fraction, all right? So what we can do now is to reduce this even further, all right? So 50% can also be written as a fraction in the form 1 over 2, all right? So all we did there was to reduce this fraction right here. So 50 going to itself once, 50 into 100 goes two times. So one out of two is the same thing as 50%, just in the form of a fraction, all right? Now let's look at another example, all right? What if we had 33% and we wanted to convert this thing to a fraction? Again, percentage is just a ratio out of 100. So all we are required to do is to put this 33 here over 100. And if possible, we can always reduce the fraction. However, in this case, we, we can't reduce 33 over 100. So we can leave it as is, all right? And now let us look at another example. What if we had 75%? Now, we can represent 75% as a fraction by simply putting the 75 again over 100, all right? And if possible, we can always reduce the fraction. When we look at 75 and 100, the highest common factor for both these numbers is actually 25. 25 into 75 goes three times. 25 into 100 goes four times, all right? So 75% as a fraction can also be written as three out of four. Now let us look at the final example. What if we had 25%, all right? And we wanted to represent this 25 as a fraction. Again, it's very easy. We just put this 25 here over 100. And if possible, we can always reduce it, all right? So the highest common factor for 25 and 100 is actually 25. 25 into itself goes one time. 25 into 100 goes four times. So we can write 25% as a fraction in the form one out of four. So that is pretty much how we convert from percentages to fractions. This is where we'll be ending today's video, guys. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified whenever we post new videos. As always, thanks for watching.